We are here in Vegas at the CES 2025. We are at the Covestro booth, and I have the honor of having Dr. Gunther Walze with me here. He is the head of holographic light guiding at Covestro. Great to see you, Gunther. Great to see you too, thank you. So, my first question as a layman, what is holographic light guiding? Can you please explain? Of course, very good question. So what we offer is a special holographic film, a photopolymeric film, uh, the only of its kind in uh, this size and mass production, where you can put, uh, uh, write in with an optical process uh, holograms and special holographic functions, optical functions. With these optical functions, you can enable completely new applications which have not been possible without it. And one you can see here as part of a holographic enabled windshield. So can you tell me more about this windshield? I, 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 I don't see much. Yes, and that is the point. I mean, the, the core here is that you see nothing in this shield. Uh, and and uh, even if you see nothing, it is fully of, full of functions uh, with holograms enabling uh, transparent displays. So uh, what you can do with that is that uh, you have multiple displays in the windshields for the driver, for the passengers at uh, any position an uh, automotive OEM wants to have it. And our cooperation partners, Eastman and Ceres, and us together uh, now are offering a unique solution for transparent displays and windshields. So I had a chance of sitting in the driver's seat um, and see the amazing displays that just pop up on your windscreen. Uh, but is there anything that makes this solution very, very special from your point of view? The special thing is that you actually can put it in the windshield. Uh, all other solutions you have are with a black backing or with diffuse, which are currently on the market. And here you really have the option to put uh, a screen into a transparent uh, glass window. Uh, the idea is also not necessarily to replace a, uh, the conventional head-up display, but to offer more room for display real estate. If you're uh, familiar with uh, uh, cars these days, uh, the more high-end cars and the more models, the, uh, the newer the car, the more displays are in there. A display for the driver, second display for the driver, uh, an extra display for the passenger. And uh, this display real estate is great, but taking up a lot of room in the cockpit. And we offer uh, the opportunity to move all this display real estate into the uh, windshield on demand. This also can be implemented in the side windows, in the roof windows, in basically uh, all kind of transparent surfaces. And then become also extended beyond only automotive into any application where you want to have uh, a window also acting as a screen. That is absolutely fascinating to be able to see something where you don't see, but then suddenly you have it right in front of you. So Gunther, uh, here at CES we see many automotive companies showcasing the future. Why do you believe such display technologies are relevant uh, for the future of mobility? So here at the CES you have a lot of companies showcasing their uh, concepts for transparent displays and uh, this already is uh, an indication that this is a promising trend and we will see the first of those mostly likely realized in 2027 to 2028. Thank you, Gunther. Very impressive, and I wish you a great rest of the show. Thank you very much.